Oh, thank you. It's a book. Tell an ugly. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, I'm going to say very much for your well wishes. Um, I feel as being the youngest uh, female provincial council in the history of Sri Lanka, I'm very pleased and very happy to uh, be a part of the Southern Provincial Council as I feel that there's so much that I can do for uh, the people of Gaul, uh, being the young generation as well as women and everyone in uh, the Gaul district um, because I believe they have elected me and selected me uh, to be a part of their lives for the reason being that they trust me and it is my responsibility to fulfill their wishes and my promises that I have made to them. Our Anakali, Chen Anakali segment comes on our general website. Uh, we actually post this uh, comments from uh, actually from public for last week, and there were hundreds of comments coming in. Uh, I've just gathered a few questions from those comments. Uh, first and foremost, what made you to get into politics? My whole family uh, has this political background where my grandfather is um, Ari Jayathilaka, Robert Edward Jayathilaka. Uh, we are originally from Mathra, Kambrapitiya, but my grandfather chose Nawalapitiya as his electorate. He was the Minister of Power and Energy during W. Dahanayake's government, as well as my grandmother, Fi Samra Kodi. Her elder brother was Edmund Samra Kodi, who was the founder of the Sama Samaja uh, Pakshi. So, um, from the very early stages of my life, I was surrounded by uh, political opinions, political families, and therefore I learned that it is a vital necessity for Sri Lankans to be Sri Lankan and work for Sri Lankans. And therefore I had this desire within me always to get involved in politics one day. As um, even in my personal life, so many incidents occurred where I had this need to be there for women as well. I feel that it is very important, no matter what happens, uh, you shouldn't victimize women, children, men in society by always putting the blame on one another. Even if someone hasn't voted for you, for example, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't help them. Everyone should be given help, hope, and within this, um, this deed, it is from this perspective that we can reach out to the world to say that Sri Lankans do care about each other so therefore it is a country where everyone should come and be a part of tourism, be a part of developing other industries. This is uh, the stepping stone for that. <coughs> well you say that you come from a very political background. Uh, however, at present uh, there are so many comments that you do this, this is not the right time for you to come because uh, although you come from a political background like uh, the ruling party as well as the opposition party are equally corrupt, this is what the people say. So how come you make a huge difference uh, among these bad people? I feel that it, my entrance into politics should be an invitation to the youth of Sri Lanka as well as to women to come in to politics, to change this whole perspective of politics being a corrupted place to be. If no one steps in and or takes the opportunity to take a challenge by coming in, nothing's going to change. For I feel that um, age is not an issue, that's the first thing. Second thing being, being a woman, um, for example, during my whole campaign, everyone used me and they were attacking me, saying all sorts of stuff. That's because they know that I'm a woman and there's so much to say that you could get embarrassed and, you know, tear you to shreds. But I have a strong family, I have a strong um, 
society before me. So I know that they will always be with me no matter what. But what I'm trying to say is, if no one takes initiative to change this, it's always going to be the same the whole time. For example, um, when you take a young person, a young person has so many dreams, so many ambitions. So therefore, these ambitions can only be understood by a young person. A woman's strife can only be understood by a woman. So uh, taking this as my own example, I understand these two forums. I understand what has to be done, what has to be changed. If I don't come into it now and look after my grandmother and my mother and my sisters who have been there for me at this young age when I'm in debt to them. Every single uh, person in society is in debt to somebody at some point in their life. If they say that they're not or it's not true, it's a lie. But what's important is that we are down to earth and we learn to respect everyone no matter what. It can even be someone on the road selling us fruit. We should be in debt to that person as well and be there for Sri Lankans. <clears throat> well, uh, some say that uh, despite the fact that you have a family uh, with a political background uh, and also with your vision and vision, uh, entering into politics with different lots of ideas and lots of uh, hopes uh, that you were important character, still you were important uh, from elsewhere and you were put in by uh, a, a different uh, group uh, perhaps with the influence of the head of the state. Would you agree with this? I believe that man and woman whoever that may be, we are all imported. That's how we were put to earth. Yeah, we were was there on its own and then woman and man, we were all imported. But I feel that the reason why I'm here today is not because anyone invited me. No one has to invite me. It is my duty to be here at this present point. It's my duty to work for the present government, to work for our uh, Excellency uh, President Mahindra Rajapaksa as he has done a deed which no one has done. It's a heroic deed. Everyone um, on the road, on the streets, in villages, they don't just say that he is our king for a reason, just a blatant reason. It's, it's for a very valid reason. The valid reason being where today surviving, living, breathing in a peaceful country because of our president. Therefore, it is my duty as well as the youth's, women's duty, every individual's duty to um, have a need or want to follow his vision, to help his Mahinda Chintanaya program, his vision to go forth. As if we didn't have a country, we wouldn't even be able to speak about development, tourism, anything. Even uh, our day-to-day -day lives, like uh, before family, would be scared to travel together in one bus because they had a fear for their lives. They used to send their daughters in one bus, their sisters in one bus, but today a family travels together. How beautiful is that? So it's my duty to be here, to work for the present government, to work for our president, because we are in debt.